Ben Parker here. I'm going to show you what I use when fishing a magnum spoon. First off, we're going to start talking about the rod and the reel combo because it's very critical that you have the right rod and the right action and the right reel with the right speed. What I've found best is a loose reel with an eight speed. This thing is fast for catching up line, okay? And I'm using this on a custom built alpha rod. It's called a spoon rod. This thing is seven foot five. It's extra, extra heavy when it comes to action. It's really, really, really light when it comes to weight. Reason being, this is a heavy bait. This thing weighs three ounces. You've got to be able to manipulate the spoon. And if your rod is bending at the handle, it's too light. If it's bending halfway up the rod, it's too light. You want something heavy and stiff out to the end because, let me tell you how I'm gonna fish this. When I throw a magnum spoon in the water and it hits the water, this thing is designed not necessarily to cradle it down. You can make it do that and I'll show you how to do it. But what you want this bait to do is every time I pull up to a new school that's out on a ledge and I graph them, and I know where they are. This is not a search bait. I know where the fish are. I'm going to catch one. I'm going to show you how you catch a, a big one on the first or second cast, all right? You line up. Make sure you're throwing in the right place. Take this spoon. Cast it right directly. Don't fan cast around the school. Make sure you get lined up right. Throw it right on the school. When this thing hits the water, what you want it to do is glide away from you. You're not wanting this to cradle on the first drop, okay? So what I do, I take this rod, and when I cast this spoon, I'm basically, let's pretend like I just made a cast. When the bait hits the water, I do not engage the reel. I want this thing to free spool. So I'm gonna take my thumb completely off the spool. It's going away, it's going away, it's going away. As long as the line's coming off this reel, this thing is working its way 10, 20, 30 feet away from you. But let me tell you something. When this line stops moving, one of two things just happened. It either went into a fish's mouth or it is on the bottom. Sometimes you can't tell whether it went into a fish's mouth. So rule of thumb is throw this thing out, let it pull line off, and when it stops taking line, engage the reel, set the hook, and you'll get surprised with a big fish a whole lot of times. But now look. If they don't hit it on that initial glide back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reel down, give it a pump, sometimes a double pump, but I'm fishing this thing. That's why this heavy action rod is so important. I'm manipulating the spoon. I want it to move as far as possible on every stroke, every pump up with the rod I'm going to make. Now, when I pump this thing up, I'm going to follow it back down. And when I follow a spoon back down, I'm making the spoon do something different. When you follow a spoon down with controlled slack, you're making the bait cradle, okay? So I know when, if I want it to glide back to them, I know how to do that. Click the button and let it go on totally free slack. If I want it to cradle straight down, maybe they want that kind of presentation, I know how to do that because I'm gonna let it go down on controlled slack. Here's a little trick. I catch so many fish on this thing this way. You throw it out there, and it's like they're playing ping pong with a bait. Wop, 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 wop. And you're setting the hook, and you're setting the hook, and you're setting the hook, and you get one on for a second, and it comes off. And you get one on for a second, and it comes off. The other day, I was out on the lake. I got one on. I got him almost to the boat, and he came off. Instead of freaking out, all you do is hit your button, send it back down, hook up again, land that one. This thing is amazing in getting reaction strikes and getting a spoon, uh, you know, using a spoon to get a school fired up. It's an awesome bait, but you gotta have the right rod, you gotta have the right reel. And as far as line goes, 17 is about as light as I wanna go. I've used 20 with success, I've used 25. Some people use braid. My personal favorite when I'm out on the Tennessee River, I'm using 17 pound line normally, okay? So give a magnum spoon a try. I hope those tips help. And good luck.